Hi, my name is Harley and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is 9 a.m. and I need to start getting ready because me and my friend Sydney are meeting at Starbucks for coffee at 10.30. This is just my like pre-coffee. That's what I'm calling it. My hair is air dried so I don't know how this looks. But I'm guessing not great, but I kind of don't care. Today is supposed to be kind of a 9 a.m. cozy morning routine. And I feel like messy hair is the way to go. Before I start doing my light makeup look, I need to do some skin prep. And I thought I would show you guys that. This right here is my very messy little skincare kind of cart. Like, I swear it's organized. It just looks very bad and messy, and I need to put a little bit more effort into it. A couple months ago, my mom ordered me some books, and if you spent a certain amount of money, you got like some kind of free thing or discount. So my mom got me just this like little LED stick. I don't know if this really works that well, but I like to think it does. Next, I'm going in with this Fenty Skin sample. It's called their Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. My skin was starting to break out quite a lot like a month ago, but the last like two weeks, it's been looking like 10 times more clear. That makes me so happy. And not that there's anything wrong with acne at all. I just feel more confident, which I feel like you can understand. Next, I'm going in with one of my favorites, the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Serum. And then I'm just gonna roll my face because I like to do this before my moisturizer so this doesn't get all gross. Lastly, I'm gonna use the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Eczema season is coming and I'm trying to stay ahead of it. I do not want eczema like I did last year. I'm already starting to get it. I have a pretty good spot on my neck over here. You can sort of see it's coming on my arm. This is an eczema scar, by the way. So for my eczema girlies out there, I feel you. I also self-tanned and that kind of makes it act up, but whatever. It is now time to do some makeup. Makeup. I have my bow for makeup and my bow for skincare. This one is so nasty though. Now I want to do a very light makeup look today. Besides coffee, I think I'm just gonna be at home literally just gonna do concealer. All right, concealer is done. I'm gonna use a little bit of my NARS translucent powder. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of blush and bronzer so concealer won't be all for my base, I guess. I don't really know what I'm talking about at the moment. All right, my light makeup is all done, but my lips are starting to go a little bit purple because it is so cold in my house right now. Oh my God, why can't I open this? There you go. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this Too Faced lip plumper just because it helps bring color to my lips. My lips go purple all the time though when I'm cold. Same with my hands, so it's nothing new. Let me know if you guys want more of like a full makeup routine because I can definitely do that. It is time to pick out an outfit. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what to wear. I feel like I wanna wear, whoa. I definitely wanna wear something more comfy and cozy, but I live in Canada and down here, when it's sunny out during this time of year, it doesn't mean that it's warm. It can be freezing out. So I'm gonna look at the weather up too. It is like 13 degrees out right now, so not very warm. Okay, for the fit, I'm wearing my pink fluffy sweater and then just these leggings with my black tank top. Very basic, but it's cute and it's comfortable. It does heat up and I can do a little off the shoulder moment, you know? All right, here's my dilemma at the moment. I'm currently reading The Summer I Turned Pretty and I got the whole series, so there's three books, but they don't fit the vibe. It's fall and reading summer books, it feels wrong. So 
I did ask my friend Sydney to go to the Starbucks that is in the Indigo. If you're not from Canada, that's just a very popular bookstore out here, I guess. Because I kind of want to save this series to read next summer when it's more the vibe. Do you hear what I'm saying? I have one book in mind. It's the sequel to the last book I read. It's called Crescent City. So good. It was a huge book. So good. And the ending... Sorry, I'm a little bit of a book nerd. Not crazy, but a little bit. But Sydney does not really enjoy reading, so when she hears I wanna go looking around the bookstore, she's gonna be like, great. It's currently 9.50 and I told her I would meet there around 10.30. I'll just chill for a little bit until then. I'm about to leave now to go meet up with Sydney, and I'm out of breath. I had to run upstairs to get my camera battery, and me and my mom were rushing to get tickets for the Madison Beer Concert next June. And we got two in center stage row five, so they're great seats and they're not that expensive. All right, anyways, I'm gonna leave now. I just arrived at Starbucks and I'm waiting for Sydney. I just pre-ordered for the first time. It's going in, have a little cute bestie coffee date, and hopefully leave with a book. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get We accidentally matched Even and our Uggs, and our Uggs. <laughs> I got my book I'm pretty sure it's on sale because of the sticker. She's pretty thick, so this is gonna take me a little while to read. And my mom called me while me and Cindy were sitting in Starbucks and said that her boyfriend noticed that my car was maybe leaking oil in the garage. So now I'm driving over to my boyfriend's house to go get that checked out. Today's not exactly going how I thought, but we'll figure it out. That's okay. So I guess let's go make sure my car is not leaking oil. I also just paid it off, so love that. At this point, this video is just like a day in my life because I was gonna do a morning routine, but with my car happening and it being two o'clock now, that's not really the case. Anyways, my oil should be fine. I think one of like the washers was just loose, so he tightened it. I forgot all of the car terms he used, but I'm just gonna keep an eye on it for a day. And if not, we have to get a new piece and maybe redo my oil. And we literally did an oil change like a month ago. Back to the video. I'm gonna spend some time reading my new book. I'm so excited. I have not been reading very consistently, I'm not gonna lie. I've been lacking the last couple of weeks. So I was doing some thinking and what's better than doing some self-care and having a hot bubble bath on a cozy night in? Obviously gonna start by taking off the makeup. I always find when I try to take off mascara No matter how much I think I get off There's always like a little bit on my lashes the next day I'm just using this deep cleaning clay mask by Freeman and I know it doesn't look aesthetic But I'm only putting this on my cheeks because last time I did a face mask on my forehead it burned and my eczema started to act up so we're not doing that again so cute face mask is off I'm gonna go in with some glow recipe watermelon glow I'm using this Olay eye cream it's kind of tinted so it makes my bags look not so bad see i feel like my bags look a little covered up now again with the moisturizer we don't want no dry skin okay i saw somewhere on tiktok that if you put oil in the ends of your hair it really helps to hydrate it and because of all the bleaching i've done in the last year my ends are super dry and i'm not consistent with this at all but i am gonna put some oil in my ends Is that moroccan oil i think that's what it's called but i have a sample of this and i'm gonna use it i really want to get some rosemary oil because i hear that is really good for your hair also 
Tomorrow I'm actually gonna go stop at my friend's house who has been doing my hair so she can take a piece to test dye because I wanna try going full blonde very soon here. I'm just gonna clip back my hair so it doesn't get wet in my bath. Now I'm gonna start filling up the tub. I definitely wanna use some Epsom salt as well. I did some stretching yesterday and I'm feeling it. Alright, that's the end of the video. For the rest of the day, I'm literally going to be eating dinner and editing this video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'm always down to talk with you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Bye.